If you haven't done so already, install GeoPoint from the App Exchange. From the GeoPoint App Exchange listing, click Get It Now. If you want to test GeoPoint before using it in a production environment, choose Install in Sandbox. Otherwise, go ahead and install in production. Once you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions, click Confirm and Install. Now you can decide which users you want to install GeoPoint for. This will give them access to the GeoPoint tab. You can install for admins only, for all users, or for specific profiles. If you're not sure who you want to give access to at this time, that's okay. You can always give access to all users and then distribute licenses for GeoPoint later. Users won't actually get access to GeoPoint until you give them a license. Because GeoPoint sends and receives data from some third-party websites, you will need to approve third-party access in order to complete the installation. If you have any questions about this, click the provided link for more information. Now sit tight for a minute while GeoPoint installs. GeoPoint is a large application, so it takes some time to install, but you'll get an email from Salesforce as soon as it's finished. Once the installation is complete, you should see the GeoPoint app inside the App Launcher in Salesforce. GeoPoint is primarily managed from the GeoPoint Setup tab. From here, you can manage organization-specific preferences and set up actions, map objects, and other features for your whole organization. You'll also notice some tabs along the top. From the first tab, Org Settings, click Set User Permissions, a button near the top of the screen. This is an important step that ensures that everyone with a GeoPoint license will have the GeoPoint end user permission set. Don't worry, this won't turn on GeoPoint for users until you allocate them a license. We'll do that next. To allocate GeoPoint licenses, navigate to the Installed Packages page and Setup. Next to GeoPoint, click Manage Licenses. Click Add Users and then select which users you want to add. If you installed GeoPoint for all users when you first installed the app, then you're good to go. All users should have the end user permission set and access to the tab. But if you only gave access to admins or select profiles, we want to make sure that the users we just gave licenses to have the correct permission set up in their profile. Click the profile of the user you added. Then click Edit. Make sure GeoPoint is set to Visible under Custom App Settings. Scroll down to Tab Settings. To provide end user access, make sure Map and Visualize are default on. If you'd additionally like to provide GeoPoint admin access, we recommend that you turn the GeoPoint Setup tab to default on. But we recommend that you turn the GeoPoint Setup tab to default off for end users.